Google Plus Hangouts is a great video conferencing, screen sharing, and collaboration software. So on one level, Google Hangouts is a lot like using Skype, but it gives you a number of extras that make it a very compelling product for research and student collaboration. So let's uh, start by creating a Hangout. We do that by going to Google Plus, and then in the top right, there's a Start a Hangout button. So we'll click on that button, and it opens up a new window for us. Just resize that window. Once the window opens up and everything initializes, uh, we will be able to uh, add people to the Hangout. We can make it an open Hangout where a number of people or, or anyone can attend or make it specific to uh, one or two people. In this case, we're just going to connect with one person. Um, we'll testing. And we're going to invite one person to it. And then we click the Hangout button to start it. So I've invited my colleague Mike to join me on this uh, Hangout. He should be getting an invite on his computer, uh, inviting him to join the Hangout. And once he's joined the Hangout, we'll see video coming from his computer. Google Hangout supports up to 10 people in real time. And here's Mike just connecting now. Uh, like I was just saying, Mike, uh, Google Plus Hangouts can support up to 10 people at once. And it's smart enough to know who's talking. So if we had more than two people in the conference, uh, the person who was talking on the other end would appear on the large, uh, in the large video uh, feed up top. So let's uh, share a document. I'm going to go into my Google Docs, and I'm going to share a document with Mike here. And I'll search for it, A-L-R-W. There's the document. I'll select it. And I've already given Mike permission to view and edit this document. So there's the document. It should be popping up on Mike's screen right now. And we can both edit this document at the same time. So I'm going to add a new, a new bullet point here. Um, just testing. Once Mike has the document open there, he'll be able to add and edit documents, and we'll be able to see those edits happening in real time as well. There we go. We see Mike adding some text there. Um, we can also share desktops. So, Mike, if you could share one of your, your screens there for us, just so we can see what sure that looks like. So you do that by clicking on the screen share button there. There we go. He shared a browser window with us. And if we click on that, we can see uh, his screen. And there we go. Mike's typing in the text chat down below there. Ah, there we are. There we go. We can not only see him typing, but we can hear him typing as well. Perfect. Um, so those are the main features of Google Plus Hangout. It's a video conferencing system. Um, like I said, you can uh, collaboratively edit a document together, and you can do demonstrations using the desktop sharing. Uh, up to 10 people. If you have a larger group, 10 people can participate directly in the video conference and hundreds or thousands more can watch the video conference and participate by chat. Uh, so thank you very much, Mike. Oh, you're welcome. And we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.